Hey everyone, this is Sandeep back with another video series called 100 Days, 100 Days of React and Redux. So in this series, I'm going to share my six plus years of writing React and Redux code. So let's directly jump into the video. So the topic is obviously 100 Days of Coding React and Redux. So let's start with the first thing that you might be curious or you might not be knowing, right? What is a React? Maybe you're new, maybe you didn't hear about React before. So let's talk about it first, little bit of theory, then directly we are gonna jump into the hands-on. So what is React? So React is a JavaScript framework used to build single page application. And I'm talking about single page application. Maybe I'll put a star here because it is used for creating server-side uh, server -side rendering also. So maybe I'll put a star here. So React is a JavaScript framework. You heard of JavaScript, right? I've started a series on JavaScript also. You can watch that series too, right? So it's a wrapper on JavaScript. So it's built using JavaScript and we use it to create single page application. So if you're a front-end developer or if you want to become a front-end developer, you should learn React. It's pretty popular. Now, why they have created React if JavaScript is already there, right? So we know like in browser, we always show the HTML and HTML is static, it's not dynamic, right? To make HTML uh, dynamic, we use JavaScript, but you need to write a lot of code to, uh, uh, to create any project, even for a simple project, right? Uh, or a complex project or medium complex project, you need to write a lot, lot, lot and lot of JavaScript code. So React is going to make your HTML dynamic. Okay, so we use React instead of JavaScript because if say, say suppose you have written thousands of lines of code in JavaScript, probably you can reduce down that code in React. So maybe like 100 to 100 lines. So that's the advantage. So HTML is static, React makes it dynamic. This is really important. Even JavaScript does the same, but React is, React does two things and it, it does those two things pretty well. The first one is React renders the initial page. Okay, so initial HTML page or any page, any component, whatever, we are going to see everything practically, you know. And the second thing is it updates the page content when changes happen due to user interaction. So say, suppose, you know, you're showing your list of friends, right? And maybe you add a new friend. So the new friend got added into the list. So React, so initially, first of all, React is going to show the list of your friends, right? And uh, when you're going to add a new friend, it's going to update that list with a new friend content. So these are two important things which React does pretty well. Now, before we start, uh, you need to have some tools, some prerequisite installed in your machine. The first thing is you need to install Node. So just search for Node.js on Google. Just click on this and just download. I don't download the current version, download the most recommended version, recommended for most user version, right? So just click on it, you'll get a setup. Uh, just follow next, next, next. I already installed it, so I'm not going to install it and it's pretty easy, right? Nowadays, I mean, installing software is just a cakewalk. Second thing you will need is a Visual Studio code. So just click on this link, uh, download Visual Studio code also. This is where we are going to write all of our uh, React and Redux code. So these two softwares you will need, go ahead and install it, then come back and we can start coding. So once the node is installed, probably you can check it. So just go to terminal and run this command node dash dash version. And if you see something like this, I have like 16.13.2. So your node is installed. Nothing uh, related to uh, Visual Studio, Studio code, you know, to check, you just need to search for the Visual Studio code and that application should exist in your machine. Okay, so let's uh, get our hands dirty in React. So we are going to create our first React project. So we are going to generate uh, our project using this command. And then we are going to run our project using this command. So I'll go back to my terminal. I'm just going to type npx create React app. So this is the command and next you need to give the name of your application. So I'm going to say hello react. That's the name of my application. 
and it's going to generate the react code and i don't know where it is generating the react code i'm going to find it out or maybe i'll stop it uh i'll not generate here i'll move it to desktop basically so let's close my terminal and i'll go to my desktop and if you see here i've created this folder 100 days of react and redux so i'm going to open this in a terminal so right click new fold new terminal at folder and here i'm going to generate my project so npx create react snap and i'm going to call it say zero one hello dash react so i'm going to follow the folder structure so that you know it would be easy for you to have that code so npx create react app zero one hello react press enter and it's going to generate the project for me it is going to take some time probably i'll fast forward it if it takes a lot of time okay so finally it has generated the project now if i go back to my notes right you need to just run npm start so let me run my project npm start and it didn't work so okay it didn't work because we are we are at the wrong place so i need to just cd into my folder hello react and i'm going to clear my terminal and i'm going to say npm start so this happens many times you know with me you need to be in the folder actually to run the project and there you go it's running in the browser localhost 3000 now it's saying edit so this is the default page you know which they have created source app.js and we need to edit this file and then we can see the content so we are going to create the hello react app right so first of all i am going to open my visual studio code and i'll just uh, open the folder 100 days of react redux i'm going to open the hello react or maybe i'll okay let me open this one only okay so i'm going to delete everything here just to start with a clean slate everything i'm going to delete inside this folder and this is what you're going to do every time when you're building your project using create react app it's taking time to delete and we have something like in public folder also so i'm going to delete all of these files from public dot public folder also i just need the index.html file that i'm going to keep and i'm going to create a new file inside this called index.js and inside this file i'm going to import react from react and i'm going to import react dom from sorry i did some mistake react from react right i'll go here i'll import react dom from react so there is something called react slash client which i'm going to use here and uh, i'll just remove this from here okay so we got our imports this is the first step now I have this index.html file and inside that index.html file we have this div with root id of root so this is where this is a place this is an element where i'm going to render my app okay so to do that i'm going to target that element so i'll target that element first element or i'll say root uh, or maybe i'll go with element only document dot get element element by id and i'm going to target that element called root so once i have the element the next step is to create a root element so i'll just say root then i'm going to use my react dom dot create so react dom has a function called create root which i'm going to use react dom and i think i did a mistake here i need to import react dom here okay react dom slash client so create root and for creating a root i need to target the element so this is going to return me the root element and now 
I can use the root element to render the app. So I'm going to say root dot render. And inside this, I'm going to render my render some of the content. Okay, so I'm just going to render H1 with say hello react. And semicolon at the end. I'm going to save. And now if I go back and refresh my page, see that? I got the output as hello react pretty simple right so this is the first project you know simple project i wanted to cover in this video let's have a quick recap what we did right so i'll start with my notes so obviously what is react we talked about react it's a javascript framework we talked about html we talked about a couple of things which react does pretty well we talked about the tools we have generated our project right using uh, and we have, we have started our project using npm start command and we have created our first application so i've deleted all of the content which was provided by create react app i have created my index.js index.html was already there and then finally i have import some of the libraries here and i've created the element then i've created the root element targeted the element then created the root element and then finally i have rendered some content inside my root element so the thing which you see here, right, which looks like HTML, it's not HTML. And uh, I'm going to talk about it in the next part, the day two of our series called 100 Days of Coding, React and Redux. So until then, you take care. Goodbye. I'm going to see you in the next video.